If we can help mitigate that irreversible shock state with drugs in the future, in addition to the blood and other interventions, then we can give people more time because we know that the battlefield is going to be complex in the future. We know from what we're seeing in Ukraine, it's much harder to move casualties. And so as there's more casualties, we need to maximize the opportunity to try and lengthen that resuscitation period. That being said, we can't change human physiology, right? So that's an important area of our investment. Likewise, we're also looking at how can we use autonomy to improve the way we do things, to give people more capability or capacity or upskill the people that are in the field to deal with this complex problem of many casualties, of difficulty moving through the continuum of care.